All right, this video is a how to and how to set up your noise gate for OBS and some advanced sound settings. So first we'll go to the noise gate and how to set it up properly. Go to microphone noise gate, enable this, leave also the default. On your close threshold, you want to make sure that this is quite a bit above your basic static sounds and your breathing sounds. So you can see where I'll be quiet, you can see where it sits. As you can see right here, over here I got background sound coming in. So you want to make sure that this is sitting above that. And then when you start talking, you want to have this line above it. So once you click OK, you'll see my the noise will start dropping off. So with it on, you'll see it go right down to zero. With it off, I have background sound. So you can see why I turned it on, it went away. When I start talking, it comes on right away. So if you take it to the next level, if you want to increase something and clean up your audio and do advanced audio stuff, let's go here and download a program called Virtual Audio Cable. And you can download the demo. I recommend buying it. It works really well. But if you want to try it and see if it works for you, you can download it. All you do is you have it installed. You have a program called this right here. You don't do anything else with it. Just install it. Hit exit. Next, you're going to buy a program or download a program called Adobe Edition. You're going to go in here, Edit, Preferences, Audio Hardware. You're going to go to Default Input. You select your microphone. Default Output. You're going to select Line 1. On Master Clock, you make sure it's selected Line 1. Latency, select that to 50. Sample rate 4800. You're going to click OK. You're going to go up here into input, stereo, click your microphone, output, stereo, line one. Click record, click monitor input so it records and outputs to the line one. Then you're going to go up here and actually select the track effects. You can actually start clicking sound effects for your sounds. As you can see in here, um, for example, you can add. Uh, an, echo, an echo, for example. Uh, we'll pick spooky. spooky. You know, as you can hear my voice changes. It sounds funny. Uh, you can do a bunch of different sound edits. Uh, for me, all I need is the D Hummer that actually changes, uh, knocks what's called the frequency off. This frequency is actually like your light noises and fans. My computer fans actually run at 60 hertz. And that's what makes the noise. By turning this off, uh, you can actually hear the background sound. If by talking, you actually hear it coming out. When I turn it off, you can't hear it anymore. It cleans it up. So for me, that's all I need. Some people may need to go into noise reduction and adaptive noise reduction and then check this. You want to click higher quality, mess with your settings till you get it where you want. But for the most part, most people will just have background bound noises. All they need is a de-hummer. And enable them will get rid of your background sounds. And once this is all set up the way you want, uh, you all you do is click minimize, keep it running in the background, go to settings, and click audio, line one. Instead of your microphone, you need to click line one for audio. Leave all this a default, boost one, microphone boost one. You don't want to increase that at all. And then you'll see your microphone levels here, and then you just kind of balance everything to make it work. Hope you enjoy this how-to.